Hello, I'm Tim, the TMBOTC channel. Uh, I had a, I have a bunch of other topics and stuff I wanted to do, but like with a recent live stream that I sadly had to delete uh, because it was on, it has text to, to chat or ch text to speech, and it was not the time or place or appropriate for the context of the stuff that was said in that and i don't think youtube is very accepting of that stuff either so i would have to get rid of it anyways and i don't want any other people to be harmed by it i felt very stressed out by the whole thing and i don't know i don't think it's the motivation of the person who was telling me this stuff but it, it certainly did stress me out and i'm sure i hope that they're not stressed out or anything but no not to bring any very personal type of things onto my platform i turned off text to, to speech i always thought the reason i would turn it off is because people would just try and say slurs into my chat but it turned out it was something completely different and personal i've only known this person for maybe a week or two and only talked to them uh in person or in chat uh once and they seemed chill they seemed cool they seemed uh just just fine and then just randomly this <laughs> i don't even want to say what it is though i think i'm gonna say well i might have to say cert a certain thing that might uh kind of let you know what i'm getting at with it but don't feel stressed out by it either. Uh, I didn't want to stress out anybody, and uh, I didn't want them stressed out either. But it was it was so touchy, and it was just something that I don't know. It was I was freaking speechless. I I don't know if they I I don't know. Once again, I don't think their motivation was to to mess with me. I've only known them for a week or two. Um, but. It was not something you want to mess around with. That is not something you joke about at all. I would never joke about that. Um, though I have done jokes, honestly, to my friends. But that's because I've known my friends for many years, for a very long time, and I see them personally, and they know I'm joking in the context. This is something where it's like, uh, whether they're being serious or not, it's still not something you want to, like... Tell you want to tell somebody you have known much longer than just a couple weeks. You want to tell somebody, and I forgot to tell them that. But I gave them whatever best advice I thought. Uh, but it's not my job for the situation. There are other people that have those jobs, and you could even approach your family members, of course, about certain things. I know some people don't feel like they would, but um, or they should. But yeah, it's best you do in certain cases or uh and this will probably let you know kind of what it is but i would just say like call a hotline or something for whatever it is or a therapist or something but know that uh it does stress out and hurt other people too uh whether whatever uh was going on but yeah that was that was a a lot to take and i didn't know and I was speechless. I didn't know how to handle it. I've had anxiety in the past many times. Now I have Asperger's. I make fun of it and call it Asperger's, like literal ass. But um, yeah, I just didn't know how to approach this, and it kind of it kind of overwhelmed me a lot. Um, I even tried to call up my therapist and my friend, and. Uh, I haven't really gotten much of a response. The last thing I heard from my friend is, wow, I missed a lot. <laughs> That's what he said last, and then he hasn't gotten back to me since. <laughs> so, yeah, you can uh, understand. I'm probably stressed out. You never know, too, and it, it brings up another interesting thing to think about when you're a streamer, because I was talking about, too, that there's a lot of stresses that can come with being a streamer or YouTuber. And one of them is you never know what somebody is going to say in your chat or to you, or if they friend you. It's why I don't know whether I should make friends or not, 
with random people I don't know, because I might get into one of these situations or something worse, and I don't want to. I want to prevent that as much as possible. Uh, I would rather be chill and just normal rather than, yeah, otherwise, like... I've had, like, I've lost a loved one, and that freaking hurt so bad. I, I've, I've had years where I didn't want to get attached to anybody else, or get to know anybody else because of it, too. Because I feel like I would just have this constant hurt of so many people that I chose to get to know and such, just break me apart sadly and make me more and more depressed and i i don't want that <laughs> um and i don't want that for you either uh but that doesn't mean you can't you, you can't make friends or anything definitely like and i still have friends and i'm sure one day if they or i pass away like they will, they or I will feel hurt just the same. Um, and I hope that never happens. You, you already know what I'm talking about. I kind of hinted it with the, the hotline thing, but I don't want to actually say the word. But it, just know that it really stressed me out. I don't, you should not be bringing that type of stuff on here. Uh, there are people that know how to deal with that stuff as well as their probably family members unless they cause you stresses too then find somebody outside the family you know or that you can trust and, and i know you'd say like oh but you you might only know them for a short period of time too but it's their job it is not my job in this situation i'm a streamer <laughs> i am and a, and i do youtube videos playing games Am I really the person to come to about this stuff? Frick no. <laughs> um, yeah, it... I just don't... I'm just saying don't bring this stuff in my, my channel. Don't bring this stuff to me. Um, especially if, like, I don't know you that long. <laughs> um... Hell, I don't even think we knew each other's real names. <laughs> so, like, it's not something you want to trust just a random str stranger on the internet, even me. So, I don't I don't know what else to say. And if they see this video, just know that I, I mean for the best and not the worst. It, it just that it stressed me out. I didn't know how to feel about it in the moment or time. And I hope for the best, of course. It's just... Yeah, I don't know what else to say in those situations. There are other people to talk to. Even if it's sadly too late in a situation, I would still look for someone else. Because I don't know what direction that conversation took. That It just was not appropriate. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is not something you bring up. And around a, a person you've only known for a while. Uh, chat. Especially when you know they have a text-to-speech thing, and other people can hear it. They probably didn't know that, but still, they they should at least assume that that that's a thing, and that they'd want to be careful. So think, always think before you speak, too. Yeah, you always want to be careful with that. I'm hoping that I was able to help best I can in that situation, but otherwise, like. Yeah, I'm just left remaining speechless, so you can see I'm just kind of rotating and walking around this stupid well because uh, I'm just so yeah, distraught <laughs> and, uh, and thought, I'd, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I hope you have a great day and a much awesome day, whether you get uplifted by my videos or people I could recommend to you or maybe follow a hobby or something that's special to you that you know you can get better at and learn from and do better at and one day people will truly appreciate you there will always be down situations uh, but you can always take 
take uh push through them and um but it's not it's probably not always appropriate to uh, especially in this situation like i said to do certain things or say certain things especially if you and it's more something you want to do in private rather than on somebody else's chat so it just created a really awkward situation and a situation i just otherwise didn't know what to say and was speechless but said whatever i felt was best at the time uh pretty much similar to what i'm saying now or part of what i'm saying now so yeah i mostly said i would reach out to a hotline a therapist or something so someone that's not expensive especially um or family for uh somebody that or at least a friend who know you for longer than uh a couple weeks for like years i would say so definitely reach out to someone you you fully trust and know more about more knowledgeable of so yeah uh i can't say i hope you enjoyed this because damn it's touchy touchy subject but uh yeah You have a awesome day nonetheless, and um, yeah, find something that will cheer you up in life, that will make you feel better, that will be a great talent to push your life forward. This was just uh, a lot to take in that um, I shouldn't have to take in, sadly, but I also wish that the other people didn't have to either, so I'll see ya. And I do want to stream today, but I was uh, honestly nervous too. I wanted to just do some Minecraft. <laughs>